What's going on y'all? Cuddy Zay here. I'm back for another video. In today's video, I have two fire loops. I found two loops that I blended together and I'm going to make a beat to it and it's going to come out fire and I want to hear y'all feedback. Before we get into it, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Make sure y'all subscribe, man, because it's like 90% of y'all that do watch my videos and not and is not subscribed. So I really appreciate if y'all do subscribe, you know what I'm saying? And smash that like button. Your boy, he got to get his numbers up. But, you know, if y'all do do that, though, I greatly appreciate that. Appreciate that. So without further ado, let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I got Logic Pro X opened up right now. And these are the two samples right here. Uh, I don't know exactly where I got them from. So... I got them like a while back, so I just decided to make a beat on these. You know what I'm saying? Try to flip them the best way I can, but I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Ooh. Let's move. Mm hmm. Yep. Let's move right there. Let's move. That's hard. So. Let me add some stuff to it. Let's get started for real, for real. Okay, y'all, so I got the song at 130 BPM and the song is pretty much on beat. I pretty much like put it on beat. And for the effects, I ain't put no effects on these two samples yet because I'm gonna do like a light mix at the end when I'm done. And I pretty much have a idea how I'm gonna make the beat. I got like a little pattern in my head. So I'm gonna just go up here to track and I'm gonna go to new software instrument. I'm gonna hit Y, bring up this library, go to electric drum kit, and I'm gonna choose autumn leaves. And it got some pretty dope sounds in, in here, so. Pretty, pretty smooth vibes, you feel me? So let's, let's lay something down. Here we go. see if it's on beat nope it's a little off right here so going to boom I like that boom hit Q hit Q and let's hear it yep mm-hmm I'm liking that liking that already I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add more effects on here too. Probably add like some delays. They already got like pre preset for you. So I'm just going to move on. Move on to some more sound and stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this MIDI right here. So Command C. I'm going to go to Track, New Software Instrument. And then I'm just going to Command V that, draw and paste it. And then dig in here, double click on that. And then I'm just gonna boom, make this longer. Boom, 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 and boom. So, I'm gonna move the, move the A, and I'm move this up. Boom, shift option up, and then turn it down some. Fix this right here. Alright. Probably let's see. I'm gonna hit A. Probably turn this down a little bit. Turn this little velocity down if I can. Looks like I can't. Hold on. Uh, 
see. That's why I can't turn that note down, but it's all clear. Just wanna keep that for now. And I'm gonna change the sound over here. I change it to like a flute or something. Yeah, so let me find this flute. I'm a little orchestra, wind, woodwind, and use this, this piccolo. Piccolo flute. Let's see. Okay, let me. Boom. I like that. Come here, C, V. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. A little soft in the background. Okay, I'm thinking about adding like a bass line or so. So, go to a new track, boom. Copy this MIDI and then I'm gonna boom put it there. And then let me hit Y and then hear how bass guitar is out. No. Let me hear this one. Okay, okay. Alright. on there it's already presets on there but boom go here go to my fave boom boom so what is in keep that how it is let me hear how to flute with it here all together. instrument and I'm gonna go to here to the user patches samples samples and this drum kit I put together with the drum machine designer so sounds right here Look, some sounds I got right here I'm gonna change this kick though to the cutty knock you know what I'm so we gonna record it in Beat right there, but let's see. 
Highlight right here, boom, Q, okay, ah, uh, trip it. This little part right here. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna add a add a hi hat. So let's record that in. So, boom, 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 highlight all of this. Let's see that AI technology could put it on beat. Yep, and it did, so sounds good. Sound good to me so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna just add a perk right here. So I got all the sounds right here. I'm gonna um, separate it later when I'm done with these drums. So let me just add that in. All right. different variants so but it sounds good now okay let's keep it moving Quick sampler, so I'm going to my files, type in 808, and I'm gonna use this one. Boom, drag it to the quick sampler, sampler original, and then I'm gonna put it to one shot, bring it to the middle, C2. Actually, I'm gonna bring it to E, E, E2, E2, and then I'm gonna. I just 
recorded it in just to see your house sounds. Let me turn it down though. It's not, I don't think it's hitting with the kick. So let me just actually, actually let me just copy the kick MIDI and just do it just this way just to save time. Let's copy that. Boom. Delete this and paste the kick MIDI. Actually, let me do it again. Let me copy the kick MIDI. Boom. Copy it and go down here and just paste paste it right there. Boom. Let me just solo the drums out. Solo the drums out. Uh-huh. Okay. Boom. Bring this down to like Okay. Doing, doing wild hair from the air. Okay, actually 40s, 808s. I'm gonna bring it down. So I'm gonna highlight all of these. Boom, bring it down to B2 here. So. Ooh. Yeah, let me just, let me just highlight these and make, make the notes longer. I know it's an easier way of doing it, but this is how I'm gonna do it for the nail. Boom. Y'all look at y'all probably thinking like this 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 dude doing it the super long way. But boom. If y'all know how I do it a quicker way, just let me know in the comment section below. Alright y'all, so we got the notes all stretched out, so Another thing I have to do is rename these because I don't want it having, I don't want it, I want the MIDI regions being different names. So, boom, copy that, right click, rename region, boom, paste that, right, right click, rename region, paste that, boom, copy this, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, and then name this A to wait. That's the A to wait region. And sometimes I do color codes too. So, probably make this a darker blue. Make a darker blue. Or some different type of blue, I don't know. Or probably like a, I don't know. Probably like a little darker blue. Probably match it, boom. And then probably put this like yellow. I don't know. I don't know. We'll probably like a green. Or oh, might change this green. And then make this a darker green. But you could do whatever you want. You could freak it however you want with the color. So yeah, y'all. So that's pretty much pretty much gonna be it though but when i arrange this song when i arrange this song and drop it on cutty's a productions y'all better go over there and listen to it man because it's gonna be fire y'all better go over there and subscribe right now because it's gonna be fuego
all right y'all that's gonna be it for this video man if y'all like this video make sure y'all leave a like y'all comment down below let me know what y'all think hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get more videos like this to come on this channel and if y'all like this hat if y'all digging this hat from my boy dt from sooner than you you know what i'm saying it's custom made real uh hand painted right here you know so just like this paint right here is really good high quality and it wouldn't wash out if it do get wet if you're wearing it in the rain so it's pretty dope so if y'all liking that i'll leave his information down below sooner than you and as always i'll catch y'all in the next video i love y'all and peace